I'm sorry, I'll just play a little emoji blitz while I'm waiting. Yes. Oh, the emoji blitz. Yeah. That's... Yeah. This. I. I'm shocked at how. This has captivated you. It's not, <laughs> it's, it's not like you. No, it, it's really not. You're a hundred percent correct. I know. It's That's really why not. I'm, I'm so... shocked. Like this is the kind of thing I would get into. For yes, like, like, it is. Minutes. That's why I, I can't believe you're not. Because and that's well, why I was sending I you everything. You I know you try. I know. I know when you're trying to hook. I know when the bait's on the hook. I know. <sighs> you know what I hate is when the thing that you like the the item that you want gets uh, like to the second line. Uh huh. And like there's no way, and I'm like stressed now because the timer's running, and there's yeah. like no way for me to to get it to the very bottom line. It's kind of weird. How? What um character are you using, Chief? Wait, hold on. Blitz mode. I don't know what that means even, but <clears> I think it's probably important. You score higher on, on those. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, I did have a question. I'm supposed to get a combo cloud thing, but I, I don't yeah. know how you do that. I, don't, I, I thought I had it, but apparently I didn't. Yeah. When they're next to each other, you'd swipe it and... They have to be next to each other or just yeah. like on the same row? Next to each other. Oh, well, that's, that, that never happens. <laughs> it, of course it does. Not for me. Well, I'm not the like master. Personal problem. I'm not the master blitzer. Uh, oh, hang on, six seconds to go. That is the loudest thing. My scores never seem to go up. Well, I put it right next to the mic just to be <laughs> tremendously. That's so annoying. <laughs> Because I, I do you it play on with the silent. Off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So I just need fireworks and then a steamboat and a okay, steam train. Okay. Wait. What what characters do you have? What emoji characters do you have available? Let me see. I have Mickey. Uh huh. Pluto. Yeah. Mike. Oh. Sully. Oh. Uh, what? Uh, go ahead. Uh, Randall. That's it. Okay. Why? Get goofy when you can. Well, well, I mean, you don't really get a choice. choice. I don't know. That sucks. Goofy's awesome. Um, (laughs) Well, no, no. You know why? Because he. Conversation we're having. Oh, just want Wally because he looks cute. Hmm. Yeah, no, I haven't gotten Wally either. Oh, really? No, because you don't have a choice. Uh, But I thought you'd have them all by now, pretty much. No, I don't know. Oh wait, some of these are silver and some of them are gold. Yes, you need thirty thousand coins for gold. Oh. So mm-hmm. the only ones I can get, because I don't have enough money, are the silver ones. Oh, right. I see. Right. Man. Have you spent any money on this? Be honest. Yes, I did. How much? Uh, at first, it was like two bucks, but then yeah. this weekend... That's what I did. That, that intro come on where it's like, hey, this would normally be $30, <clears throat> but for right. a buck ninety nine. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Um, but then I, uh, this weekend, mm-hmm. I put in 10 bucks. Because they have the um, the Hatbox Ghost and the Abominable Snowman. Yeah, I saw that. Um, and I, I wanted those desperately, so I got oh, those. Pay to win. So, <clears throat> yesterday was October 1st, mm-hmm. which means that is... The first day of winter. Man, it is not. <laughs> That's it. I'm, I'm not up on my farmer's almanac. No, you're not. What would the, no. What the, <clears throat> so it is the October 1st uh-huh. is the birthday of Walt Disney, the Walt Disney World Resort, uh-huh. the Magic Kingdom, a uh-huh. uh, bunch of resorts like Contemporary and Polynesian. And, uh-huh. um, and then uh, it's also the stepchild Epcot Center's birthday. <laughs> and because it doesn't fall on like an, you know, a zero or five year, you know, like you can't even celebrate like Disney's, you know, 45th and Epcot's 30th. It's, right. you know, it's yeah, the 34th. The yeah. But that's Basically, right. everything good is what you're saying. Everything, everything good. Yes. October 1st. Uh, cool. So, so yesterday they uh, apparently gave out uh, special guide maps. When you and when you unfold them, it uh, turns into a poster on the oh, inside. Oh, really? With the logo, yeah. And then um, and the uh, a button, one of those big buttons, you know, um, okay. for the 
forty fifth, mm-hmm. and then uh, so I'll be uh, I'll be on eBay trying to look for those. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, no, but like right now, I think they're yeah well. relatively expensive. So I'll wait a week or two or what? What eight. would they be going for? Let me let me guess. What would mm, let people pay for those? I don't know, thirty bucks. Um, right now, yeah. I mean. Uh, you know what? Yes, I do. I want to see. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's look. This it is up. live. Doing it, it live. It, doing it. Doing it live. Nice. Oh, look at this! I have a save search, and it automatically comes up. <laughs> uh, actually, no. not that bad. Um, really? I'm looking at one for. Um, is this? Yeah, it looks like okay. So five dollars fifty cents hmm. with twenty five dollars shipping. Uh, let's see. In eBay fashion. $2.62. Wow. You should pick one of those up. I should, actually. What? I really should. Wait, did you say what is the poster of? It's just the logo they have. It's it's pretty cool. I like it. I didn't see um, it has Mickey on it and the Magic Kingdom in the background. You know, I was thinking we could do an entire rant on uh, on maps someday. The, so, the, Chris, the there's a park maps. We well, do that. Someday. Well, there's a book coming out in October. Hey, you know what? It's October now. I think it's October. I have, it's mine's on. Old, I've had it ordered for months now. Yeah. What is it? Um, <clears throat> and everybody can probably hear my. Uh, yeah, you're typing. <laughs> t- typing. I'm sorry about that. Uh, Ooh, maps of the we'll Disney wait. Parks, charting 60 years from California to Shanghai. Ooh. And it is going to be released October 18th. That's my anniversary. Look at that. See, now I know what I want. Look at that. 25, uh, <laughs> 2550. So it's not that bad. Wow. And what is it? Just a collection of scans of maps and things? Sure. <laughs> wait, you saw Disney? <laughs> Maps and, uh, and I, I said and yes. History. I'd like two of those, please. <laughs> Disney maps and history, and you're like, yeah, you've exactly. all those. Yep, uh, 144 pages, so not not too huge of a book, but uh, hmm. but yeah. So uh, so this is coming out. So once it comes out, maybe we can yeah we have like a, a little book club, yeah, and do a review and absolutely do a review. I like that. Yeah, and talk about maps because oh maps. my god, I love maps. You know, and I always thought like that was just the thing with me. And then I'm, and oh, then no. you and I talked about maps once. And I'm like, okay, well, we're just two knuckleheads. But now that I have like a boy, like he loves maps. I think mm-hmm. it's just an, it's an, it's just a male thing, right? Right. It's just a right. We're attracted to maps. Yeah, so, you know, it's uh, some evolutionary thing, I, I guess. Yeah, maps, oh, maps. <laughs> so, so they right, gave that. That's not this week. No, not this week. Um, so they gave out those two things uh, yeah. to visitors to the park yesterday, um, and they had, I think, a um, uh, show or some kind of demonstration at the uh, castle. Uh, but there's not. I mean, they have merchandise. Okay. Uh, for, and I guess you know because it's the 45th uh, birthday, it's not you know right. it's not the 25th or 50th, but you know. For the for the tenth, for the fifteenth, the twentieth, and twenty fifth. I mean, they went all out. Yeah. I mean, they had parades. They yeah. had, in Gaming. fact, Spectra Magic uh, was introduced during the twentieth year uh, celebration. Um, so they they all had you know theme songs and uh, parades and fireworks and um, uh, they painted the castle for one of them. <laughs> mm-hmm. But after the 25th, it's just kind of died off. Like, there was yeah. nothing for the 30th or 35th. Um, so all of these, it's really, like, uh, pretty much all they're doing is releasing merchandise. And, I mean, I guess that's okay, but I, I'm, I'm really, really hoping for the 50th in five years that they I'm really sure. go all. I, I, I really they hope so. To. They and Disneyland. <clears throat> Disneyland did a nice job with fifty and then sixty, right? So. Fifty and sixty. They didn't. Fifty five was low key, but but I mean, I remember. You can't really do the the five year. You got to stick to the major. I don't know Disney. Don't Disneyland unless it's did. like quarter century, right? I mean, yeah. Disneyland did every five years. I mean, they did they really? That seems yeah. like yeah. It seems like a lot. Well, 
ten years, ten years, quarter, half. Uh, well, that's Tim saying quarter, three quarter century when we finally get there. Yeah. And that piece. So, okay, well, so I'm really it. hoping the fiftieth is like I hope they go all out. Yeah. You know, sure blow it out the water. They're already they're already planning it. It's got to be. I hope so. They'll probably you know, decorate the castle like they did. <laughs> Disneyland. Maybe maybe Hollywood Studios will be all open by then. <laughs> Oh, see, you said you weren't going to be... Fingers crossed. You said you weren't going to be negative in the show. This <laughs> Sorry. Is, this is the Optimistic Disney podcast. Sorry. The ODP. But they've also, on the Disney Parks blog, they've also yeah. released, like, wallpapers and photos, yeah. um, things so like, like that. So it's like the community's doing more than... Uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, my Twitter feed yesterday was blowing up with, you know, people there wanting to just be there and celebrate and everything else. And, and, and I've, I saw a couple of pictures. I mean, it looked like the crowd in front of the castle for the, the celebration for the 45th was it looked pretty large. Um, so it there's definitely a demand. I just don't know if it's, you know, uh, if. You know, I think Disney sees there's a demand, and they're feeding it by just releasing all this merchandise, knowing the Disney fans yeah. will eat it up. No. So, I mean, I guess they know what they're doing, but I, I just, I don't know. I, I always like to see a lot happen on these zero and five year celebrations, and mm. it seems like it's just, it's it never is. It's, it's nothing. Hmm. So, anyway. Well, I mean, other than merchandise, what else? I mean, unless they're going to do something big like decorate the, the castle or parts of the park. I mean, what else, yeah, I mean, what else would you uh, I'm like thinking see? putting up signs. Well, I mean, uh, <laughs> as of October 9th, there's not going to be a nighttime parade at Disney World. Mm. So it'd be nice if they got a nighttime parade for the 45th. Oh, I see. That version or something. Like, I mean, just something, anything. Mm-hmm. So, anyway. <clears throat> I see. Huh. Well, so not so much on the forty fives. So happy, happy forty fifth to birthday. Walt Disney World and Walt Epcot. World. Um, not forty fifth for Epcot, but thirty uh, fourth for Epcot. Wow. Still, Actually, happy birthday! Speaking, to speaking of birthday, what is it? Was it? It's twenty fifth or thirtieth Epcots where they they opened the sort of history. Mm-hmm. The twenty fifth, yeah, twenty fifth. Now that was I appreciated that. I thought that was really that was cool. very cool, and I was lucky enough to. Uh, go back and visit during that year, and yeah. and I just took a ton of pictures, and and luckily I was the only one in there, um, and and so I I, I just sp- I probably spent an hour in there just yeah. just taking pictures and looking at every single thing they had, yeah. and it wasn't much, but it was it, at least it was something. It was like the I, I think it was the start of acknowledging, you know, yeah, you know what, we had some pretty cool stuff, and here's you know here's some of it. So you right. can look at it and see it and, and right. everything else. And um, so I, I really like that exhibit. I, I wish it was still there. I mean, how, how much could that really cost to just open some doors and have it in a room somewhere? Well, it's kind of like one man's dream, right? I mean, that's yeah. kind of like, you know, that, that was supposed to be a temporary thing that stuck around. True, true. Now that Walt's office is out of there, I mean, there's that, that's a, you know, fairly big chunk. Like, there's, yeah probably is not it, much in there anymore. I was gonna, actually, is it still even open? Well, it is, but I think what they do for the... When there's a new Disney animated movie or a new... Not just animated, but... Um, cause, uh, but if it's geared toward families, mm-hmm. um, I think they preview it in the, the final theater, you know? So instead of seeing the the movie that goes with One Man's Dream, oh, I see. You see the preview. I see. Oh, and, interesting. And so that's kind of stinky, but um, so I think it's on its last legs. I mean, why not? I think honestly, I think the only reason it's open is because <laughs> half the other park, the rest of the park is closed. Yeah. So they're like, well, we can just have people walk through here. Yeah, and it can't cost much. So. <laughs> right. So. Yeah. Um, it's kind of sad. I I, I really I I've, I've always loved One Man's Dream. Yeah. But it, it's definitely uh, uh, it's been there a while, and and it's clear that they're not updating it at all. So right. Well, there's no. Yeah. 
Well, no, I I know which is yeah right with. The, if it's about Disney and the history, there's not much to update because <laughs> it, it's telling a story, right? Yeah. right. Uh, but I'm thinking of the and then you, we ruined it all as then, you no, walk further in. in. Exactly, they they always had like the new uh, models for um, <clears throat> excuse me, new attractions and things like that, and and uh, it just it, it just started that that part's kind of stale, so. Yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah, I feel we've covered that. It's going to be great, though. It's going to yes. come back. So that's the 45th anniversary. Um, cool. So a couple, um, yeah, a couple news items. Let's let's go with yeah, that. What else you got? Um, so I read an article on WDW News today. Mm-hmm. I'm finding that that's a pretty good site for news because. Uh, I'm getting a lot of stuff from it. Hmm. So, uh, so anyway, uh, one of their articles was about uh, they quietly Disney has quietly disabled uh, the Magic Band interactivity on yeah, so, certain rides. I saw you posted that. Yeah. So that's shocking to me. But right, ahead. I Do thought tell. that. Well, no, no. I, I mean, I, I thought that was kind of the whole. Point, not the no 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 not the whole point, but a a major sell you know feature of the Magic Bands and why you would want to wear it so that you could hear your you know see your name at the end of It's a Small World or mm-hmm. um, at the end of uh, uh, Haunted Mansion or right. you know whatever else or like you know if they had E T there. He would be able to say your name, and you wouldn't have to <laughs> give it in the beginning. Wait, isn't that a different place? What? Yeah, yeah it, it is. Yeah, so um, what's the reasoning? Why Why are they disbanding? Don't know. <laughs> disbanding. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, it sounds like um, the fans, uh, some of them didn't like it. Because uh, you know they, I think they found it creepy that their name was plastered up, whether they wanted it or not. They what? would, you know, everybody Seriously? would see it at the end of the yeah. Um, wow. Okay. So uh, I, I don't know. I, I and then uh, the names were nothing but like first name. Yeah. yeah and, right. And it wasn't letters. like first name and last name and address and phone number and social security <laughs> number or anything like social. that. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. It was I just. Actually, it was just first names. Go ahead. Right. I actually, I didn't know it existed. Like, I really hadn't paid a whole lot of attention to what they did with Magic Bands other than the, uh, yeah, obviously the, the, the main stuff. So I think the first thing we saw was the Haunted Mansion, where it, like, comes up at the at the very end. Mm-hmm. And I was, I, I thought it was great. I thought yeah. it was, because it was, a you know, that's a little step above. I mean, that's, it's got to be not that easy to do that technologically. And right. then we saw it, what, at uh, Small World, I guess, and... I don't know. I can't. I can't imagine it would, really that many people had a beef with it that they would that they would turn it off for that reason. I mean, they don't listen to the community for anything else. So <laughs> why, why, why would they? Listen well, to it? well, but once you get lawyers involved, you know, if people get upset enough and they say they threaten to sue or something oh, wait, like that, did, uh, did this get to this level? Because it says, oh, I'm sure that's the only reason this stuff would be turned oh off. My God, I hope. I mean, not. come on. I, I hope of not. course, it's very clear that it got to that level. It's good. There's no other reason. Uh, technological? Maybe it just like uh, no. showing the wrong names too many times? or Oh, please. The, now, the only thing, if I'll play Devil's Abbey, the only thing that I could think that I'd be like, well... Because it did kind of strike me. At first I thought, oh, that's neat. And then I realized, well, wait a minute. They just put my name on a tombstone or something, I think. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, eh, that's a little creepy, a little dark. But, yeah. But even so, I mean, it's the Haunted Mansion. But I mean, that's about <laughs> the only thing I could think, like, would be semi-legitimate I don't know, it's so weird hmm no oh, well well so that's it it's gone and or? I I never saw it anywhere because oh, didn't no none of this was in in effect when, last time we went last year oh, so okay so I've never seen I was looking forward to going back and seeing it you know on our next trip but mm-hmm. I guess we won't so that, that kind of stinks what a shame yeah, <clears throat> it's just surprising because that that was one of the features. Because 
you know, what you had always heard was, oh, you'll be able to go up to Mickey and he'll know your name and, and talk to you and, you know, and it'll feel very personable and like, you know, so, um, you know, it, it just, it surprised me more than anything else yeah, that this happened. Sure. Oh, okay. So, uh, a bit of good news. Yeah. Um, Stitch's Great Escape is going to start operating seasonally. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, when you're an employee at a company and you get put on special projects, right? It's kind of like mm-hmm. the step before you're gone, right? Right. So, um, so, what's cool about that is that the rumors are is that that theater is going to be used and re- repurposed for a. And I hate to say this, but a Wreck-It Ralph um, attraction. Well, hold on, Buster. What do you have no, against no, no, Wreck-It no. Ralph? Well, nothing except this is Tomorrowland. Well, but it's not really anymore. It's it, everything that's sort of semi-technological. But that's silly. Spacey things that we don't put at Epcot. That's silly. That's the, they're going to rename it that. That's the new land name. Yeah, that's what it should be named exactly. Yeah. So that's that's frustrating. Um, that. Uh, I mean, the whole movie is about a retro, you know, video game characters, you know, and I don't know, whatever. Uh, that that goes into a whole nother, another but discussion. They, but wait a minute, they already broke it with Stitch. So I mean, it's not like it's uh, right? Yes, no, I know, I know. <clears throat> That's just, true, but... It was just Hawaii. <laughs> right, just Hawaii. Um, bring back... Sorry, Hawaii. I bring like back state. extraterrestrial... Yeah. I'm trying to think yeah. if I even saw Stitch. I don't think I've actually been on that attraction. I think I might have done it twice. Yeah. Um, I did the the extraterrestrial thing, which was also a... Uh, some words I could use. Uh, didn't I, So it's like, why, what is it? It's like a cursed space that they can't put something good there? Well, uh, yeah. I mean... Mission to Mars was there before. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I know, as, as I you know, you bring that up and it's like, well, but, you know, how many times did anybody really do that? Right. I mean, you, you know, can only shake like, your seat oh. so many times, so to speak. Right. So <laughs> maybe it is. I don't know. And, yeah, and that hey, was just Mar- brought Mars over. Is all the news these days. Maybe they'll bring back a <laughs> that, new hey, thing. That's fine. The, so here's the, 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 the deal with. The you know alien alien encounter was that it was original and I love that you know yeah it wasn't my favorite ride but at least at least they did something original it wasn't um, you know borrowed from uh, one of their properties or anything like that it, it was a brand new story in a new Tomorrowland what did you say um, about the extra extra terrorist yeah movie? alien encounter oh you didn't like that no it was terrible no it, it wasn't terrible. It was it was different. It was unique. I, I thought I, I applaud them for going out on a limb and um, and doing something different. Okay. I, and I wish they did that more often. That's that's what I'm. You know, that's what. Uh, yeah. You know what it is for me? I don't like. It, it's more of a general. It wasn't even specifically about that ride. I don't like. Uh, it was too pessimistic for me. It was too, especially for the Magic Kingdom. It just felt like it, what it didn't fit there. I mean, if you looked at it just as itself, mm-hmm. then okay, you know, you're right. They they took a risk. They did something different. It was a unique storyline. Wasn't a tie into something, but just to plunk it right in the middle of Magic Kingdom, which is supposed to be a very optimistic, happy, you know, um, it was just everything the opposite of that. It just didn't seem to fit there. You know, yeah. Even the haunted mansion that's that's dark. It's with a little sort of tongue in cheek humor thing, but True. the alien encounter thing was it was a bit too heavy. I guess is uh, yeah. That's kind of how I felt about it. If it, I, if that were like an Epcot or something, okay. You know. Yeah. Studios, okay. It felt wrong at the Magic Kingdom. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't completely disagree with you, but. Um, that's well, no, like I said, it wasn't my, I, I, that's how I led this off. It wasn't my favorite. Mm-hmm. I, I did it, you know, a handful of times. Right. Um, and it was freaky, <laughs> quite honestly, you <laughs> know, because I'm that? not, yeah. I don't, I don't like horror movies. It was a mind like that. Right. I don't and, either. And I, I don't like that the majority of like sci-fi stuff, especially right. these days is, is very sort of, you know, there's a fine line between horror and sci-fi in a lot of cases. And so it just felt like it was on that vein, but 
And then there was the stories about when it was um, before. Well, no, it opened, and then Michael Eisner came in and, and wrote it, and he thought it wasn't scary enough, so they closed right. it down and retooled it, and right. so it was like, wow, this is really, you know, this is going to be really mind blowing. Um, and it was, it was different, but it, but I, I, I don't disagree that it was out of place because it did, it did need warnings, and uh, <laughs> right. I mean, I would never take That's my kind kids of a sign, right? <laughs> on it, but but at least they, you know, at least they tried. Yeah, it was a new okay. Tomorrowland. They they had that, That's true. They and then they had um, Timekeeper, which yes, it was from Disneyland Paris, but it, at least it was something. I like Timekeeper. I, think uh, I did great. too. Um, so it was like, oh, Hello, this is awesome. <laughs> right, right. Um, I still use that joke. Of course. Um, uh, I miss him. I know. Well, well the whole nother. That is so, a whole nother because that's, I mean, that's, uh, whatever. So sad that that relationship between Robin Williams and Disney ended up the way it did. It was such a good match for so long, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, they actually got back together, though. I mean, that was did after. I? Maybe I missed a. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he started doing sort of stuff for them. Disney again. Sure. Okay. Because Disney, uh, well, they had to go. They had to apologize. Like really, apologize to him. Sorry, we messed you over with that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, well, good. That's I didn't realize it. I don't know. I still had it in my head. They kind of. Yeah. Do, do you know what that whole beef was about? It was something with Aladdin, right? About yeah, his it payment was for Aladdin. He got like thirty grand or something ridiculous for it, or something stupid. I, I don't know what he earned. No, yeah. but the the beef wasn't about that. It was about oh, they they like he, impersonated him. And, uh, no, 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 no. Well, no, they had to after clearly this I beef. Had, I have no idea what this was about. So <laughs> fill me in. <laughs> so he did not want his. He wanted to be paid. Okay, so the agreement was for the movie. His voice for the movie. Right. Well, they used that his the clips from the movie. In the parade at like Hollywood Studios. Oh, okay. And he said, "Well, okay, now pay me for that." And right. they said, "No, we're using the clips for from the movie." So, and so he said, "Well, okay, I'm never working for Disney again." Um, okay, I didn't realize that. Yeah, so that's what it was. It, it was about that. And so for Aladdin two and all these other things, uh, you know, these directed DVDs and video and all, um, they they had. Uh, uh, Homer Simpson do the voice of uh, Genie. Hmm. Okay. I didn't realize that. Yeah. So, but they they had to. But he was very public about hating Disney and yeah, you know, right. and everything else. Was, and so, right. uh, but they. I think. Um, I want to. Uh, I want to say I could be wrong, but I want to say it was when uh, Iger got in there. He he uh, apologized. Oh, that recent. Yeah, oh, I mean it was okay. a beef for a long time. Yeah, okay. Um, and he had, he had started doing stuff for for Disney again. Huh. Cool. So yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so that's Stitch. Sorry, I got a lot of machine noise here tonight. Not sure why that is. So that's okay. Just got to edit that out. Fix it in post. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> Because we have a lot of time to edit these things. Because <laughs> we haven't done that for any of the episodes yet. <laughs> or at least I Well, haven't. that's not you true. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Edited okay. some of it up. This is like the rambling episode tonight. Maybe maybe Sunday it is. was a bad idea. It is. Yeah, no, we just need to be today. more prepared. And, and I apologize for that. That's I'm, I've been trying to take the lead on that. But uh, I was focused on working on the other episodes. Yeah, so, okay. um, All right, so I have a topic. Can I throw a, to- a little mini topic? No. Okay. Then what's what's the next topic? Yes, of course you can Boss. Talk about that. Go ahead. So I don't know what it was. I was thinking the other day that suddenly my life has become the final scene in Carousel of Progress, the current final scene in Carousel of Progress. Okay. Because, you know, in that scene, they're like, it was all about um, obviously high def TV, which is, you know, that's come uh, a ways now. But it was all the um, uh, the voice activation stuff. Mm-hmm. And sort of the home automation things, mm-hmm. and there was some other thing. I'm like, oh, so 
right? So anyway, in my house, we have started to do that. I set up some home automation. I have a, an Amazon Echo, and now I can tell it to turn on lights and things. And I'm like, holy cow, I'm now living the Carousel of Progress dream <laughs> That's 20 awesome. years later, right? Right. But then here's was, here was the part at a little loftier level. So one, one of the mini scenes in Carousel of Progress I always loved was where they talk about television and how you know people are going to learn Latin and Greek uh, over TV someday. And is that the right line? Do I have that right? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, you were muted. I was. So, yeah, I always love that line because it's so like you know, ah, uh, it's a good chuckle. But you right. know, some some optimists would have believed such a thing, but obviously there were there were just not enough channels to do that. But I realized the other day how much time I now spend watching YouTube mostly and other mm-hmm. sources for things that I am learning. I'm, there are lots of channels now. It's like one of the really yeah. popular subgenres now of these these uh, performers that explain concepts of science and you know, or history or whatever. Mm-hmm. And so we've finally, we've actually, that little winky wink joke of learning Latin and Greek through our TVs, we've kind of hit that point where that really is true. We're, we're, learning, this, we're learning these things, right? And in my field, yeah. like, there's a lot of technology I have to keep up with and that's my go-to as I'm watching these things. So right. it just struck me one day, I was like, you know, heck, we're actually we are achieving the carousel of progress, as it were. That that's true, and it's sad because <laughs> well, no, oh, because, come on, I've had this. I was going to be all optimistic, and no, it is true. Know, no, 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 you're, you're absolutely like, right. It, it is true, and 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 <laughs> you're you're absolutely right. But man, that that final scene needs to be updated so bad. <laughs> All right, yeah, it, it still needs to. I mean, sure. it really needs no, to be updated. I, absolutely. Uh, but but you you are right, but look, and that's that's kind of the point. Let if me go if back. we're if we're at that point where <laughs> right. you then are yes living in it, then okay, guys, it's time. Well, except for even just a few years ago, the whole voice automation stuff was still in the sort of realm of you know that's not a real thing, right? Mm-hmm. It's, you know, okay, somebody thought that was going to be a big deal, like flying cars or something, and it just never happened. Right. But, you know, boom, and, you know, it kind of has come out of nowhere suddenly with things like Siri and, uh, you know, um, Alexa. What, uh, Alexa, Alexa and OK Google and, you know, these things finally have sort of hit uh, hit a plateau of technology that that's really a thing now. So it's kind of moved from... It was kind of stupid before because it was kind of a joke because, you know, we don't really have this and that's not really feasible to now. Well, like you said, now we have it. So not really the future anymore. Right? Yeah. But still. but you're you know, you're right. I, I haven't really thought about it like that, but you, you're actually 100 percent right. I mean, it's they did get a lot of it right because yeah. um, and I think the voice automation is really the. The key to what they're doing, right? I mean, that's all. Yeah. That's the whole joke and, and payoff at the right. end is right. that, <laughs> right? <laughs> Just so. never gets old. Nine hundred <laughs> degrees, <laughs> right? What? Um, the and, and virtual reality, right? I mean, they're you know it, actually it's, you're right. It's that was the other awful. thing I was thinking about, right? With right, Oculus it's awful. And Vive and all that stuff, right? Yeah, and, and so um, so the, I mean, they're right on like now, so. Yeah. They just need to take another swipe at it. And <laughs> put us yeah. back into the future. What would they do now? But but the what thing is, but but wait wait. So here's the deal. It goes you know, the turn of the century, right? And well, then the twenties, the so and then the forties, and then yeah. we're really <laughs> and then the really we'd be trying to go to the forties again, right? right. You yeah, know, like uh, <laughs> excuse me, uh, a little over twenty years into the future. So yeah. it could right. be a, you know almost a hundred year gap. Yeah. But you know what? That might be a good thing. That might be a good way to update. No, I'm not kidding. That might be a good way to update that attraction, right? You know, I always thought that they should, you know, that they should redo it, but it should be like um, maybe the turn of the century and then go to like, uh, you know, the six, exactly, the 60s and then, you know, uh, whatever, the, whatever, the, like now, really. Yeah. Now and then, and then the the last scene would be like yeah, the like future, the, like the two thousands, right? So right when you know the internet boom was kind of happening, I mean, that was kind of yeah. Like the World Wide Web came about. That would right. be a good point there. Yeah, and yeah, then, you could yeah. do you're, you're right. You could do turn of the century, the fifties, nineteen fifties, and then two thousand, yeah, and then do like twenty fifty, yeah. right? Yeah, let's do it. Come on, let's do it. How do we do this? Who I do don't know. Call? I don't know, <laughs> Mr. Iger. We have an idea. That'd be awesome, man. I still love it. the only downside of that is then you're throwing away original. I know, I know, and that's 
they you know they've pretty much made it a museum now right uh which kind of sucks but so okay let's okay let's take that a step further let's go back and put in the original one from the 1964 world's fair okay that'd be good too as long as you're gonna keep it a museum make it a genuine one exactly why not here you go this is what it was originally i could support that yeah okay i'm glad we fixed this all right, yeah. I, I'm totally... It's, seriously, though, I'm shocked. And I don't know if it's just because of the type of building they couldn't really do anything else with it. I am really shocked that that attraction is still open. I know. And so don't say anything. No. I wanna, <laughs> I, I, and, but that's how... But, but, Chris, that's how everybody feels. I know. Um, all fans, it's like, we can't say anything right. about Shh. the Carousel of Progress. Because if we do, yeah. either good or bad, yeah. they're going to notice that it's still open. Right. Somebody's going to go... And they're going to shut there. it down. They're <laughs> going to do the... Pull up... Oh, how, mu- how much electricity is this thing using? Right. Yep. And they're going to say, oh, it doesn't. Uh, sorry, the, yep. you know, the yep. ROI isn't working out now. It's, al- it's so. almost like, you know, in the meetings at, at Disney, <laughs> there's some guy that's a big fan of that attraction. And so when he's reviewing <laughs> right. it with his boss, he puts his thumb over that corner of the, of the <laughs> exactly. map. And he's just like, yeah, Jim, so got Tomorrowland, and then we scoot around here. We had that new dance uh, attraction uh, where the Skyway used to be over there. Everybody loves that. And, uh, yeah, right. This is where the bands play, and then they right. just keep going on over towards, and you know. Castle Progress is holding steady. And then we have the <laughs> no, Wedway. and just covered by <laughs> Just don't even say it. He's like... <laughs> He's like, Mike, what's what's that under your thumb? But this nothing. <laughs> no, don't, don't worry, worry about, about that. It. Nothing there. It's but a, we need but we need new paint. It's a true uh, could right, exactly. <laughs> I mean, for it, let me tell you, I mean, honestly, for it to be painted, yeah. to get a new right. paint job, it was right. it was like earth shattering to Disney fans. It was like, oh, my God, they actually improved it. Like it's they a, did something It's and it didn't shut down. There must be somebody in charge somewhere that likes that attraction. That's the only reason I could figure it's still I, around. I, yeah. Right. Because there's really no other reason or or the fact that because it's although they could gut it, but it's such a unique structure that maybe they can't really do anything else with it. Well, back in, man, and I took video of this, like in, um, uh, for the 20th, uh, anniversary, they were, they were looking to redo Tomorrowland then, yep. uh, back in 91, uh, and 92, that, that time frame, And mm-hmm. back in, remember when, uh, what, what is that on the right hand side town center or, um, the town, uh, what? No, not City Hall, but the opposite. What, oh, what was we're over there. Okay. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> it's uh, what town something. I don't know. Anyway, um, so so in there they used to have, you know, the the story of Walt Disney, right? right. And then right. you go out and and they had a, a display area, and they had a uh, model of the Magic Kingdom, and they had Tomorrowland, and they had. Uh, names, you know, things what they were going to do, and the Carousel of Progress was essentially going to be uh, turned into like You're the old. Break my heart. You're going to do something that's going to make me very sad now. Oh yeah, no, no, absolutely. It, it was going to be horror. It was going to be uh, the. I, I think it was basically what they had in Disneyland when it opened. The uh, those bumper. Um, oh no, you're kidding. On the a sheet of air, yeah. And it, it was like, wait, thing? yeah, Hover. yeah. Hover. And, and so it's like, Thanks. why are you going, the flying saucers? Yes. Right. <clears throat> why are you going to do this? And, and, I, but I have video of it. So I know it, they <laughs> actually had it. It was on a plan somewhere oh, and Carousel Progress was going to go away. And so I went, uh, during one of my trips, I went and I videoed the whole thing. And this Just is back video. when they had now is the time as yeah. the, as the theme song. Right. And, uh, which I'm, I'm glad I have it anyway. I love the song, sure. and um, and so I recorded the whole thing uh, way back when, and so um, so anyway, so I have it because I was afraid. I'm like, oh my god, they're gonna they're they're taking it out, and, right. and that was you know, 25 years ago, right? So it's that's what I'm saying. It's it's amazing that that thing is still actually I, up and running. You know, now that we're talking about it, I, I remember what the last thing was. I heard they were going to convert that to. Was a uh, DVC sales center. I think is. Okay, uh, I'm not uh, even wait, okay. All right, we're done. No, it's we're done yeah, for because it's close to the uh, Bay Lake Tower thing. Oh, cool. so Shut up. they would Be just quiet. do shuttles over Be there. Quiet. They would take like little vans. They take you over, and you could see it. <sighs> <laughs> it's gonna be someday. Are, are you, you know trying to? Something. Why are you even saying that? On so, I mean, I'm you know what? I'm so editing that, so that out. We can appreciate that we have it now. That's I'm why. editing it out because I don't even. I don't want anybody to hear <laughs> what you just said and put that that idea in anybody's head. 
You, so you are sick. insane. What like, are you doing? like we could change the course of anything. <sighs> Whatever. But I still like it. I'm glad it's there. And you know what? For many reasons. For not not least of which is because by the time I get to that point in the park, I'm usually hot. I'm fed up with people. Mm-hmm. And I just want to go sit in a dark thing and be entertained. Yeah. And so. That's true. You know, it's great for that. It's air conditioned. Yeah. You know, you can't Usually take, you not can't, much of a weight. Nope. You can't take any beverages in, but. Uh, right. Well, you can. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't lose it. We ought to do. We, we, we ought to do a uh, show on Carousel Park. There's a lot we could do. You know, what we should do is plan and organize better. <laughs> we really, really should. <laughs> and then there's probably a lot we could do. But that's okay. We'll, we'll get this one under our belt. And, yeah, and we'll that's fine. All right. That's so fine. real quick, uh, last thing. Um, okay. uh, this so there's this new app, this game. Yeah? What's it called? Disney Emoji Blitz. I think I've heard of this. And what's cool is that now with the iOS um, 10 update, Yep. Um, with the stickers and yep. the messages, it it you can use them just like any other emoji. So you don't have to do this well, not silly really emoji, copy it's, and paste stickers. All right, right. In that case. sticker. <laughs> so <laughs> on iOS anyway, right? On Android iOS, yes. Uh, yeah. So nothing, this is nothing else. Joke, obviously, you and I have been talking way too much about this app over the last uh, twenty four hours. <laughs> but I had totally written this app off because I didn't like its fomoji, uh, mm-hmm. sort of you know fake emoji, right. sure. pictures it was pasting in there. But right when iOS ten came out, and then they, I guess they updated this to make them actually sticker friendly. Now, yes. now I care, and now I blame you. Because I spent far too much time with this silly thing. And this has this one aspect of monetization I despise in apps. I think <laughs> Candy Crush was the first one to do this, mm-hmm. where you only get so many times you can play, and then mm-hmm. you'd have to buy more lives, or you have to wait time, or, or God forbid, this one doesn't do it. But with Candy Crush, you have to bug your friends on the, on the socials oh, to, to get more lives and stuff. So I hate that mechanic. But, yeah, it's actually kind of a fun little, it's a fun little thing. Yeah, yeah, it's for the collecting. Right, right, right. But with the collecting, you actually get to use them yeah. in some form or fashion instead of just, you know. Yeah, and other things. <laughs> and I laugh because like almost it was been every other week or so for the last couple of months. You periodically send me some some one of these <laughs> emoji, and I'm like, I know he's sending this because this was some great achievement to get this thing, but I have, <laughs> right. I have no sense of reference. So I'm like, no, hey, I know, and it kind of made it better. Right, it kind of made it better because I'm like, you have no idea what I <laughs> right. had to do, how much I had to play this stupid game to get that. But that's okay. That's my, okay. Because if you ever work. pick it up, you'll realize. <laughs> my children had to work in a factory for two weeks <laughs> for me to get this sticker. <clears throat> yeah, and it was, uh, I think the one that was that really clued me in was the train. Um, mm-hmm. And I'm like, I'm, I'm just because it was the train. I'm like, I'm guessing that probably took a lot of effort or money to get. <laughs> uh, but it still didn't get, didn't hook me until the stickers thing. But now I like yeah. it. Now I want the Wally one because he's a yeah. Well, and that's that's the one thing that I wish I had control over is yeah. no? Sorry. which one you get. Life is random. Well, so wait, you know? Okay, well, I we haven't talked about this. Mm. So just to give you a little tip. <laughs> okay. Good. So when you go to buy either a silver box or a gold box uh-huh. to get a new emoji, okay, you think you you're gonna get a new emoji? Oh, don't tell me you can get a duplicate. Oh yeah, you oh, get a no. power up, so it, it goes oh, up to level no. two. So you won't get a new emoji. You'll have the same silly emoji no, you already have. Don't tell me that one that you don't even care about or like, and it'll level it up to the next level. Oh, don't tell. No, I don't want yes, that. That's gonna yes. take me forever to get. There. I know. So. So that's why I stopped doing the fifteen thousand the the silver box yeah. emoji because uh, like three times in a row it gave me uh, you know it leveled me up on three of my silver ones and I'm like, yeah. are you crazy? Are you kidding me? So now I'm doing the gold box and it's been giving me new ones. So uh, I'm hoping that holds out. Yeah. So Glenn, I was based on the stickers you were sending me and based yeah. on where you said you were. Because uh-huh. there's these like sets, of these little <laughs> stickers, right? Right, right. And one of the cool ones is Disneyland vehicles, which I remember you sent yes. me that. Yes. Because it was the train and the and the moonship. I remember you sent that. 
Yep. Uh, you've never sent me any of the Disney dresses, so I appreciate that. No, I, I didn't. Uh, Monsters Sorry. Inc. I mean, this thing this thing goes on and on and right. on. And and it's not like you get one of these things and you've got it. Some of these <laughs> no. you, you have to get them like four or five times before. Oh, you, you don't get even the know. You oh, you don't catch. even know what like Toy Story. Yeah. There's um. Let's well, I'm say, looking uh, at these things. It's like zero out of 114. Now there's only yes. There's only you know 12 stickers. Exactly. But there's 114 <laughs> things you have to get. To right. Get you have to get them multiple times. Man, you have been. No wonder you, I've been not been able to get you on the socials. This is all you've been doing that, with yourself. That's why we have no agenda for tonight's <laughs> podcast. Because so I'm trying to. I'm trying to get candy corn, <laughs> and and so where Mickey are you at? I'm, jack o' lanterns. I'm, I'm on this list here. Where are you at? I'm at. You said. Okay. Toy I'm Story at. Just to, I'm in Toy Story. I have. I'm. I have 146 Which Which out folks? of 165. Huh? Which people? People listening. If you don't know this game. This well. is like 14 pages in <laughs> of sets of stickers that you have to get in multiple before it actually adds it to your collection. Yes. Yes. This, and this is so, it, people don't know you. This is so not like you, though. Normally, It's not. You, it, it has me hooked. I know. This is so not like you. And, and the other sad thing is that I, I literally, there are, in my life, <laughs> there are like maybe four people I text. <laughs> so it's not like I'm a huge texter. Like, so this is going right. to a very limited amount of no. But it's really people. not about the texting. It's you want the collection, right? And because some of, of course, these are cool, of course. Like, you look at the Disneyland attractions, right? There's so that's there. my next. So okay, so that's the deal. So I'm on Toy Story right now. I mean, the Space Mountain one's got to make you, you know, my, salivate, right? <laughs> so the next one is the gold standard. That's the one I've been waiting for to right. get to is okay. Disneyland attractions. So you're gonna quit. And there's only nine of those. So it's uh, Small World. Yeah. Toontown, it looks like a Tiki Head, mm -hmm. uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's the, only the nine of them, thing. but half, yeah. of them, half of them are the gold level. <laughs> the Matterhorn. Which are, are hard to get, right? Yeah, absolutely, because you, you're supposed to use a special character. Right. They're lucky with that character. <laughs> and yeah, so they have the Haunted Mansion, they have yeah. uh, the castle, and then they have Space Mountain. Yep. Um, so See, I cannot. I know you. I know you. I know <laughs> After what? that, it's like mad scientists and under no, the no, sea. Hold on. And Wait. Desserts what? though. There's some cool desserts <laughs> there. But I have them. I have most. I have the Dole Whip. I have the Churro. I have the Mickey yeah, the, uh, wait, Premium on. Are they Bar. Repeating things. Wait. How's that yes. Happen? That's that's what I'm saying. It's not consistent. Now is the it little candy. The, exact same the very Dole first Whip, one. This is a different Dole Whip one that you have to get. No, 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 no. It's it's the same one. But the, you see the candy in the upper left. Yeah. And the and the sucker, I I got those with the Halloween one. Oh. So um, so will those already be checked off, or you'd have to like get them again? No, I have to get them checked. again. Oh, no, you have to ridiculous. get them again. <laughs> this is absolutely so when you know I what? win them, uh -oh. I already have them, so it's not going to do anything. I'm going to go back to playing some, some something sensible like Pokemon Go. <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. Magical. I mean, so after that, there's no, oh wait, Disney Disney icons. icons. Oh, yeah, but no, on. no, but I have oh I have all all of these. Well, I understand. They take the, the same graphics they already made, but they put them in a new set. Yeah, it's kind of silly. And so on the go. Oh, yeah, okay, so on the go is still the last one Funny but um, so so once i wow, like i told dumb. you once i get to once i get past the uh, disneyland attractions and get all of those i think i'm gonna taper off oh you're right wait on the go are any of these new no that's what i'm saying if you get the disneyland um transportation oh. ones or whatever uh, you well, already what's, have what's most the point of those. then if they're if they're not new? i i i don't know they they really need then, to come out then, with you know I mean, why because then you can't get to the one after that unless you complete that that page. Well, and that's why do you think I went through the Disney accessories and got? Uh, I know why you did. And and you know nature. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have a caterpillar! Yay! It has nothing to do with Disney, but all right, good, awesome. But now I wish I'd kind of kept up with you on this because now you, you're so far. No, no, no. Now I I actually finally have a head start on a game with you. So no, because now I'm you'll a, stop. by the time I get to weather. No, yeah, but I'll still page. have. Like stop. I said, I'll still have all the emojis, and so then we can. No, but the point is, I want to beat. I want to beat you at something. Oh, you'll never beat me on this. And that's what I'm saying. There's no way I could catch up with this. No, because I'm not going to let off until I know that you've let off. Hmm. Okay. So. I'm like Jeff right. Gordon. And you're like, uh, oh, you hear my baby screaming up there? Yeah, I do I hear that, that. I think that means the podcast is done. <laughs> I think it, that's exactly <laughs> what that means. And that's that's there's, fine. There's the new outro. <laughs> All, right. All right. Thank you for joining us on another episode of Terrific Recordings of Nothing. Follow Chris on Twitter and Instagram at CB Gray, and Glenn on Twitter and Instagram at Dizwiz. Follow the show on Twitter and Instagram at Tron underscore FM 
and on Facebook at Terrific Recordings of Nothing. For all things related to the show, including show notes and links to connect with us, visit us at tron.fm. <laughs>